it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. For today's video, I wanted to talk about my move to Manhattan. So about five months ago, I made the decision that I was gonna move out here, but I started filming little clips from when I would come visit and I was just in the thought process of what area I was gonna live in. So I thought it would make for an interesting vlog. And then at the end, I'll share some of my experience just moving across the country and how that went for me. So I hope you guys enjoy and let's rewind about five months back to summer in the city. Currently, I am in Midtown Manhattan. This is not my place. I'm staying at my friend's. He's very American, so yeah, I'm still very Canadian, but I am looking to move to New York City. And this is pretty crazy because I never thought that I would end up here. Um, I always thought West Coast, like I wanted to head to the West Coast and I have a whole video explaining my move. So I will have that linked in the eye. And for this video, I just wanted to share the process a little bit. So for me, I'm not that picky about where I'm gonna end up living because I work from home and it's gonna be down to the price and the best place for filming and of course like being in a safe area and all that but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up on the Upper East Side and while that sounds very like posh and gossip girl it does have quite affordable um, apartments in comparison to a lot of the other areas that I do love like I love Soho I love Tribeca um, they're just pricey so we'll see i could get a good deal you never know but i'm very open and i just know wherever i end up i'm gonna find a coffee shop i'm gonna be editing and i'll make the most out of it so anyways i did want to go check out um the upper east side and bring you guys with me because i think that suits me best it's quieter they're shopping for like videos i like to just like run out and get the props i need and then there's the museums and parks so it's just like it's great there's the old architecture has everything but it's definitely not um, like as bustling and I kind of want some of that bustle so I'm open to different places like I've said I got my iced coffee and I'm just kind of relaxing and I'm gonna take some shots of the Met because I am going to do a Blair Waldorf video so I can kind of insert those clips there but one thing that I will say about New York which is one of the reasons that I didn't want to move here in the first place like a, a while ago was that it, you feel really violated on the street but the thing is as a girl like you kind of feel that everywhere and I've changed my mind a little bit on that because there's so many people I actually feel safer so like in San Diego I have no friends and if I'm walking home alone somewhere and a guy comes up and just starts walking with me and no one's really around it's really scary and it's like there's nothing I can do versus here yeah people are a little cray cray like on the street today this dude who clearly lost his mind like comes up in my personal space and goes "Ooh, you a bad girl like really loud and it's almost more comical like I still feel a little bit shaken up from it but um, it's not like no one's around to see it or like stop it if something was really to go wrong. So in that way, I actually feel a little bit safer in Manhattan. Something I noticed moving from California to New York was people wear more clothes in New York. Like in California, I was in San Diego, people generally wear like a crop top, a tank top, a skirt, maybe a sweater. And here, even though it was so hot, I was there during a heat wave, I was wearing the least amount of clothes in public than like everyone else and I started to notice that and I felt really uncomfortable and like went and bought a t-shirt but um, that was just culturally something I noticed. Maybe it was in my head but let me know if you have noticed that too if you've like seen the difference. Another thing I like about New York, there's so many people but you can always find like a little area to yourself like in Central Park, here I am, you know, found my tree, whatever and on the busy streets there's usually like a church and you can kind of go up and, and hide behind a pillar if you are an introvert like me and just need like a time a moment to recharge. Oh, this is gonna be good, Tyler. Yeah, no, actually, it does, it does seem like this could be really cool. Except the problem is, what? <laughs> the best lighting is like, like right here, and there's. So, so you saw the picture of Cameron, right? Okay, so it's a couple days later and my thoughts on the Upper East Side, I loved it, but I felt judged <laughs> when I was trying to take pictures by the older people. So we're gonna look at some more areas. I'm thinking Upper West Side, but we're currently on a ferry um, and we're headed to Williamsburg to check it out. So. Sure, sure. What, what, am I saying the wrong place? No. Okay. I'm <laughs> well, I'm going somewhere and I'll fill you guys in on what I think. But I've never been on a ferry like this before. So pretty cool. So 
so nice. <laughs> oh god, I can't when there's people. I was trying to mess you up. Yeah, you did. I know. So we're walking around Williamsburg and it's definitely very hipster. More like small town vibes, like a lot of character. I really like it. I don't know if I can like see myself living here. Um, I mean, it's super cool, but we'll see. I'm gonna check, up, up, check out Upper West Side as well. But right now we're gonna try to find a park. Keep exploring. Run back. Now it's not time. Artistic. Shut up, it is artistic. So Ooh, cute. look at that, sparkly. Good morning, it's a new day and we're headed to um, the ferry. We're going to Coney Island in Rockaway Beach. I've never been. And we had breakfast at Le Pont. Did I say it good? Le Pont? Le Pont. Okay, good. And it's amazing. I love it there. So I'll be cute. I call it that because I suck at saying French words. Mm -hmm. But anyways, uh, I'll see you guys when I get to the beach. I look out for you to soothe away the blues in your eyes. Take a step. Oh. Last day in New York. Yesterday was just a fun day. I really wasn't looking for a place. It was tons of fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing like such an iconic park. I just wanted to go because of Uptown Girls. And today I have my hair in a crazy curly bun. I got my Met scarf that I got and um, this t-shirt's just from Free People. And I'm gonna check out the Upper West Side and Tribeca area. We'll have to see, but hope you enjoy. So far this area is my favorite because we have some beautiful parks that are like more low key, um, not as much as like an attraction. And then all the buildings are really cool and it's, it's not crazy um, for pricing. So this might be the spot because a lot of the buildings remind me of Soho, which I love, but again, that is more pricey and louder too. So this might be the area that I stick with. I am now in the Tribeca area and I love it. You're right on the water, cobblestone, but it's probably too expensive. So I love it to come like visit, but if I get a good deal, I would love to live here. But I still think Upper West Side is, what, is what's gonna happen. Yay. <laughs> Good morning, I am headed on my flight and I wanted to give you guys a little rundown of this trip. So first I went to Upper East Side, which I thought I was gonna live. I was like, yes, that's the spot because museums, parks, beautiful architecture, but I did feel a little judged. This could have just been a one-off experience, but there was quite a few older people. So when I was like trying to take uh, little vlog clips, um, I got some stink eyes because it's obviously like the older people's more expensive property. They don't want someone's like camera around it. I totally get it. Could have been like a celebrity home, who knows? Um, but that was my like one experience that's sticking out. I still would totally live there. But um, then when I checked out the Upper West Side, I did see more of a variety and actually way cooler architecture it had like the coolest stuff and still the parks there's more museums there I did check out Williamsburg as well in Brooklyn and I do want to be in Manhattan just because all my friends are here but I I was interested in checking out Brooklyn because everyone could say kept saying Williamsburg and um, at the end of the day awesome place to go visit but I couldn't really see myself living there super hipster super young and there just was a lot of markets and like eclectic shops but I do like some of the mainstream stuff um, for quick video making so yeah that's that's my experience and um, I'm sad to be leaving I had such a fun trip I'm wearing my boyfriend's sweater I do have a boyfriend and I'm very happy right now um, yeah so I'm sad to be going
And we're back to present day. I'm in my new apartment. I love so much about this apartment. We have the exposed brick, some fireplaces, tons of windows for filming. But the only thing that's so bad about this apartment, I cannot control the heating. It's like central heating and it makes a sound a lot of the time. I don't know when it's gonna turn on. So when I'm filming an in-show or something, that's kind of frustrating. But other than that, I love this apartment and I'm in an awesome location by Central Park. So how I ended up getting this specific apartment is I was using Street Easy. This is a website that's free to use and a lot of people talk about finding their um, rented apartment through here because it makes it very easy. So all you do is you press basically submit on any apartments that you like. They already make a little email for you to talk to the broker and then usually the broker will get back to you that day for a showing and it's kind of crazy in New York the whole like broker system. So if you don't know anything about it, there are fee apartments and no fee apartments. You go through a broker either way, but when it's no fee, you're not the one paying out of pocket to pay them for their service. When it's a fee apartment, it can be, you know, one month's rent on top of paying your security deposit and first and last month's rent, or it can be 15% of your annual rent on top of everything else. The police. So what I would recommend from experience is try to go with a no fee if you can, but if you're not finding anything that you like, open your search up. This one was a fee apartment, but I'm not paying like a crazy amount for rent and I feel like this apartment, if it was under no fee, would actually be listed a lot higher. And because I hope to stay here for a couple years, I also think my boyfriend will move in in a couple months uh, and then we'll split rent. I felt like it was worth it to pay the fee and get an apartment that I loved. So I would open up the search if you're not finding what you're looking for because there's just a lot more to offer. And if you are not American, like I'm a foreign national, I'm Canadian, it was a lot easier to go with the fee apartment because they were a lot more lenient. So you have to do a lot of paperwork if you are um, looking to rent in New York. And one of the first things that they ask for is your credit score. I'm not American, so I don't have an American credit score. And that was something that they wouldn't even look at me a lot of places. And that was hard because I qualified for the apartment. Uh, I could show my Canadian credit and like how responsible I've been through many different ways, but it still wasn't enough that I didn't have um, American credit. So for all the no fee apartments, they turned me down. And then as soon as I went to fee apartments, they were like, no problem, we'll run your Canadian credit score. So that's bizarre. I don't know if that was just my experience, but um, that would be a tip I would have if you don't have an American credit score to try to find someone who's sympathetic to what you do and your situation and really prove yourself in all of your documents that you're sending over. I honestly think I did the amount of paperwork for like buying a house just to rent a very small apartment. Also another tricky thing about renting in New York is you have to prove that you make 40 times rent in terms of your um, job. And if you don't, then you have to have a guarantor. But this gets really tricky if you are a foreign national because you can't have your parents sign if they're not American. You have to have an American citizen. And that's complicated. So for me, my dad actually is American, but he doesn't have an address here. So again, he wasn't eligible. I didn't have to have a guarantor, but um, one of the other apartments that was higher in my budget, I would have needed one. And that's that apartment they said no to me. So it's been a journey, but I kept with it. It was very stressful and disappointing at times, but I'm in the apartment that I love. And I hope you guys enjoyed going on this journey with me. Um, it was a big one. It took a lot of time and stress, but I'm very happy to be back in my own space and back in the swing of making videos. So if you enjoyed this and found it, I don't know, educational or just it was cool to hear my experience, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, if you're from here, let me know where you live or what your favorite area is. And if I said I didn't want to live in an area you live, no shade at all. I was just trying to find what would work for me and, um, yeah, I would love to hear your experience if you move to the city as well and just any questions you have and I will see you guys in my next one.